Hello student, today we will discuss about uh, integers and uh, addition and subtraction of integer on a number line, which is an important uh, chapter in class uh, 7 and uh, class 6. So, before we talk about uh, integer, we should uh, learn about few things like uh, what is natural number? Natural number and uh, whole number. Before studying about integer, we should know about uh, natural number and whole number and we have also learned about it in previous classes. What is natural number? You know that all counting numbers are called natural numbers like uh, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. These are These are 1, 2, 3, 4 till infinity are known as a natural number, okay? Now we will study about what is whole number. You know that all the natural number along with 0 is known as a whole number. Whole numbers are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And what is negative, negative number? negative number. What is negative number? All the natural number with negative signs are known as negative number like uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. These are known as negative numbers. So, now we will define integer. What is integer? What is integer? The collection of whole number along with negative number okay so we can define integer at the collection of whole number along with negative number is known as uh, integers okay we can also draw a number line to represent integer All the numbers on the number line are representing the integers. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and so on. These all are and uh, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 till infinity are known as integers. Okay? So we can say that all the natural numbers are integers, all the whole numbers are integers. Okay? Now we will study about what is, what is, uh, sorry, sorry, what is, now we will learn how we will add an integer on a number line, okay. Suppose we have to add Suppose we have to add plus 5 to minus 4 What will we do? To add a positive number on a number line we will move towards right Okay? Because you know that uh, if we want to do anything positive in life 
we will have to move right. Adding positive things is always right, so we will move towards right. So we will have move five step from here. Three, four, and five. We reach at one. So you can say that minus four plus five is equal to one. Okay. So if you if we have to add a positive number, we will move towards right. But what happens if we have to add negative numbers? Okay. Let's take an example. If we had to add a negative number. If we have to add a negative number. If we have to add a negative number, we will move towards left. Okay? So it is minus 3. We have to move towards 3 a strip. 1, 2, and 3. So you can say minus 3 plus 3 is equal to minus 6. So if we have to a positive number on a number line, we will move towards right. And if we have to add a negative number on a number line, we will move towards a left. Now what happens if we have to subtract a number on a number line? Suppose we have to subtract we have to subtract 4 from 5. We have to subtract 4 from 5. If we have to subtract a positive number, if we have to subtract a positive number, it is not a right thing. Because you know that if you want to uh, subtract anything positive from your life, it is not a right decision. It is a wrong decision. So if we have to uh, subtract positive 4, we will move towards left. So from 5, we will left 4 steps towards left. 1, 2, sorry, uh, 1, 2, 3 is missing. 2, 3, 4, and 5. If we have to move, if we have to subtract 4 from 5, we will move 4 steps from left. 1, 2, 3, 4. So it will be equal to 1. 5 minus 4 is equal to 1. So if you want to subtract a positive number, then we will move towards left. Okay? Take a, we will take another example. If we subtract 6 minus 2. If we have to subtract 6 minus 2, then, then we know that subtracting a positive number is always not the right thing. So we will move towards left. From 6, we will move 2 a step left. Okay? 1 a step and 2 a step. So it will be equal to 4. So it is uh, how we uh, subtract a number, negative, a positive number on a number line. But what happens if we have to uh, subtract a negative number on a number line? Suppose we have 5 and we want to subtract minus 4. We have 5 and we want to subtract minus 4. We, we, we want to subtract minus 4. You know that from daily life example that if we want to subtract anything from uh, anything negative from our life, it is always good. So, to subtract minus 4, we will have to move towards right because deleting negative thing from life is always right. So, we will move right from 5, we will move 4 step right. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, 5 minus minus 4 is equal to 9. In general, we can say that if we want to subtract anything pr uh, from a, a number line, we will move towards right. But if we want to uh, add anything, if we want to add, if we want to add anything on integer, 
या इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एड इन टीजर वी विल ऑल्सो मूव टू आर्ट्स राइट बिकॉज एडिंग पॉजिटिव थिंग्स इन आवर लाइफ इज ऑलवेज गुड सो वी विल राइट एज फाइव फाइव स्टेप राइट सो वी कैन राइट फाइव प्लस फाइव इज इक्वल टू टेन chalk now now we will discuss properties of integers first property is closer property closer property states if a and b is a rational number sorry a and b is an integer then a plus b will also be an integer for example if a plus b is an integer then a plus b will be an integer we can take an example if we add 5 plus 4 you know 5 is an integer and 4 is an integer so if we add 5 plus 4 then it, it will be equal to 9 so 9 is also an integer so you can say if you add two integer then the sum will also be an integer we can take an other another example if you add 5 plus minus 2 it will be equal to 3 so you can say if we add any integer then the sum will also be an integer so it is a closure property now second property is commutative property commutative property state while adding two integer the order does not matter if we add if we add two integers order of integers doesn't matter for example if we add to 5 plus 4 you know 5 plus 4 is equal to 9 but if, what happens if we change the order if we change the order it will become 4 plus 5 so 4 plus 5 will also be 9 so you can say while adding two integer the order of integer does not matter because uh, whatever we add the sum will be the same third property is associative property it say if a b and c r integers then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c associative property say 
that while adding three integer the order also does not matter for example if we want to add 3 plus 4 plus 5 then we can add it into any order the the sum will be remain same because you know 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 3 plus 4 is equal to 7 and plus 5 is equal to 12 but what happens if we change the order 3 plus 4 plus 5 3 plus 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 so it will be equal to 12 so you can say associative property say that if a b and c are integers then a plus b plus c is equal to a plus b plus c the fourth property the fourth property is additive identity fourth property is not an additive additive identity zero zero is not as additive identity of any integer because we know if we add 0, 0 is non as additive I identity of integers because if we add 5 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus 5 is equal to 5 because if we add 0 to any integer the sum will be integer itself if we add minus 4 plus 0 is equal to 0 plus minus 4 is equal to minus 4 so we if we add 0 to any integer the result will be the integer itself so 0 is called additive identity for an integer now we will discuss additive inverse additive inverse for for any integer for any integer a there exists a number minus a such that a plus minus a is equal to 0. So additive inverse for any integer there exists a number minus a such that a plus minus a is equal to 0. If you take example 5 plus minus 5 is equal to 0. So minus 5 is additive inverse of 5. If we write minus 5 minus 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. So you can say the plus 6 is additive inverse of minus 6. Okay, sir. How oh, yeah. good?